In this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace your key ignition lock cylinder on a 2002 Toyota Corolla. Sometimes I have difficulty turning my key on and off on my 2002 Toyota Corolla. So I made some research on YouTube and found some video how you can replace it. So I went and bought a new key ignition lock cylinder on eBay for about $35. You can do the same if you wish to replace your ignition lock cylinder on your Toyota Corolla just like what I did. So hope this video gonna help you and help you save some other major costs to replace or repair your car key ignition lock cylinder. Before you change this ignition lock cylinder, make sure you can still turn your key to the ACC position in order to remove the ignition lock cylinder. Start the engine and turn the steering wheel to the right to locate the screw on the right of the steering column. Now let's use a Phillips screwdriver to loose the screw on the right and then now do the same thing on the left. Once you finish with these two screw, you can move down and then remove the third screw at the bottom of the steering wheel column. Now let's remove the uh, steering wheel uh, column cover by pulling down the cover down. But gently remove it, don't do it too hard or you couldn't cause more damage. With the key in the ACC position, let's insert a small Phillips screwdriver into the hole to unlock the ignition cylinder. And then pull the key to pull out the ignition lock cylinder out of the socket. Once you got the old lock cylinder out, here is the new one, so I gotta put this one in, but make sure this new one is in the ACC position as well. And use your index finger, push this pin down while inserting this lock cylinder back into the socket. So gently, push it in and it should stay locked. But before you put everything back on, make sure to try to see if it works. If it works, you should be able to start the engine without any issue. So here's how I did it. Now let's start putting the screw back on. You can start from the right and then move on to the left. Once you finish the left, you can move on to the one at the bottom of the uh, steering column. But it doesn't matter which way you do first, just be careful and don't break anything. Now let's see how it works. There you go, it's working now. Back in business. <laughs> 